going on guys so i'm back with another city tweak and this one is called oxo you can find this from the developer a3 tweaks and you can find it in the big boss repo for 199 now first off off the bat this is probably one of the best multitask switcher applications or tweaks i should say out there right now in Cydia. Now, as you probably could tell already, I said multitask switcher. So this has to do with your multitask switcher. And let me just uh, show you what this does. If I double press the home button, of course, you will get access to your multitask switcher. Now you may see something a little different. We actually did get a couple mockups of something like this, of the way iOS 7 should actually be or a future iOS 6 update. But I highly doubt it will be ever in iOS 6. But hopefully in iOS 7, they will integrate something like this to iOS. Now you do see you have all the apps that are running, all your background apps, all that good stuff on here. And you do get a preview of whatever is actually running or was currently running when you got out of the application. So it's a pretty cool visual of seeing what was running. Also with the little icons there, of course. Now. When it comes to closing these out, normally you would have to simply hold down and then close it out with a little red X. But with this, with a simple swipe downward, just like this, you will be able to close that application. And not only one, but if I put two fingers down, you can actually close those out at the same time. So it's pretty nice how you can actually do that. But if you want to close all of them at one time, I really like these types of uh, tweaks. That allow you to do this so I just simply held down on one application and then now it gives me the option to close them all out it asks me if I want to close and remove all the applications from the multitask tray so I hit yes or no of course and I'm just gonna leave those open for now but that's actually how you close them out and how you actually get to go back and forth to each individual app so now if we actually swipe over to the left, we get our playback controls. Now, I really like this. And if I simply tap on the little icon right there, that's going to be our album cover. So if I simply tap on there, it will actually display a bigger album cover or the actually album artwork of whatever is playing at the moment. Now, if you simply tap again right there, it'll, it'll minimize it. Now, right here, let me go ahead and start playing this. If I start playing, of course, you did see it was kind of dimmed down when it was paused. But now you are able to see that all the artist information, the title of the song, and also the album name and all that good stuff right there. Now on the right, you will get the app icon of whatever is utilizing the background audio. Like, of course, the music app. You got your Spotify, Pandora, Safari, etc. All those audio using applications, of course. And if I simply tap on there, it's going to directly take me to that application. So I see there, I got some music playing. Let's go ahead and pause that. And let's go back to our, let's actually get out of here. Let's go back to our multitask switcher and go back here. Now, you see here, uh, you don't get the volume controls, but with a simple swipe up, you will get the volume controls right there. So it's really nice. You, of course, just mess with your little volume slider right there. And once you get done sliding it, it would actually go back to your album information, artist information, all that good stuff. It will just directly go up and you won't actually have to swipe up or anything. But you can just simply swipe up or down between the two, whatever you want to do right there. So it's pretty nice. Also, of course, down here you get the backtrack, play, pause button, and also skip a track. Now swiping again to the left, we get some setting toggles. Now, if you swipe over, of course, you see right here, we got rotation lock, we have the Wi-Fi, turn it off, turn it on, and also your Bluetooth, your 3G, 4G, whatever you got. And if we just swipe up, we will get some more setting toggles. So you got your mute on and off, you got your airplane mode, and we got the little tethering hotspot setting right there. And then we also have, of course, our other icon right here. Now. If you actually tap and hold on an icon, it will actually directly take you to the settings app of whatever that setting does. So I just held on the Wi-Fi settings and it took me directly to my Wi-Fi settings in the settings application. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. 
little nice feature there. Now, you do see right here at the bottom, we have our brightness slider. Of course, you can just slide up or slide left and right to control your brightness. Now, if you do have an actual AirPlay device that's enabled, you will get your airplane icon right down there, but I don't have one set up right now or anything, so that's why mine is, it's not there. So, <laughs> but if we do open up our settings application and we do go back, go all the way down to our OXO settings, you do get a couple settings right here. First of all, you have your user guide, so if you want to know some more information, if you kind of lost track of what I was talking about, here's all the information you need to know right here tells you everything OXO can do and right under that we got the configuration settings and you can actually just simply um, set up the toggles however you want in whatever order you want you got another settings here where you can actually follow the devs right there go ahead and support them and that is actually it guys that is OXO it's a whole new multitask switcher app and it's available for $1.99. I think it's amazing. You can find it in the Big Boss repo from the developers A3 tweak. This is a must have tweak. I highly recommend it because it just gives you an awesome looking multitask switcher. This is definitely the way iOS should be when it comes to the multitask switcher. It gives you more of a visual. It's so nice. I, I just honestly, I just like it. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. As always, go ahead and hit that like button if you like this city of tweak and also to show me that you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about OXO. I'm interested in knowing your thoughts. I think it's pretty badass. Also, for future updates, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and or on Twitter. I'm updating those constantly and that is actually where you can reach me at and all that good stuff. I'll leave the links down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all my future videos, city tweaks, and all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right, peace.